everybody. It's Saturday, June 27th. Odin and I are getting ready to go back towards where we were last week. Uh, we're going to try to get uh, two miles to Grass Pond. There's a lean-to there, so we'll stop and have something, a snack, and, and we're going to take uh, my mom with us this time. So we'll see you on the trail. Okay, guys, we're here. It's actually three miles to Grass Pond, so we may not make it all the way. We're going to give it a shot. Okay, we're at the trail register. I can take one of those down because uh, that one's dead. That one's still on the loose. Not too far from here, actually. Okay, we're at the Osgood. It's 320. Odin went in for a little swim. Mom's down the path a little bit. Here's the bridge. Here's the other side of the Osgood. So we're going to keep on going down this way and make it right up here to our grass pond. All right, so we're at a fork. Left was where we went to on our way to try to find sheep meadow. And right is the grass pond trail. And there's a the little sign. <music> Doctor under it. What's around it? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's probably easier. Huh? That's probably easier. <laughs> that's a good place for a geocache. If you wanted to come all the way up here to maintain it. Odin gets twice as much mileage in because he comes back all the time. The trail's getting a little narrower as we go. Continuing down the trail, we're about halfway at this point, just a little under halfway. Odin and Mom holding out the lead still. Not going as fast as he usually does today, I'm not sure. That's because my mother's here or if he's tired, it's a little humid. Didn't do well in the humidity. Huh? Found a little stream we're crossing over. Oh, they found it. Got a little bit of water. There. Bugs are picking up. Trail's getting real. Real thick in places too. This is weird. The trail sign said three miles to Grass Pond. And we are at 1.82 miles. But yet we are at a shelter that says Grass Pond on it. And there's, I think there's only one here. I'm not sure, but I'm going to look around. There's some trails off in the distance. Not real good markers. There's another trail down there, and then the trail, there's an outhouse back there. There's an outhouse in the back, and the trail we came in is right over here. Now we came around back this way, but that seems, it seems like the major trail goes back behind down that way. But, I'm not, I'm not entirely at the back end of the shelter. Trail downhill to the to the pond. <clears throat> Might want to bring one and stick. Okay. Watch out, it gets hairy right here. In that. Well, there it is. Huh. 
now I see where he gets the name Grass Pond. Well, I don't know, buddy. I'm gonna get off of Muddy. Yeah, it's also real. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? he's going all the way. This is mud down here. Oh, look, there's a clam. It's all what? muddy. I want to come down this far. There's a clam all smashed open right there. Well, this is all mud. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Look at him. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. He's covered in mud. It gets muddy right there. This isn't too bad. Over here is not too bad. There's grass pond. Yeah, my mistake. Snobber all over the cup. I got the video live. Video. We well, we made it. I don't know why it's not three miles. I don't know what's up with that. But God aid through prayer. That's. <laughs> Stuff. Got black flies, horse flies, mosquitoes, deer flies. You want some of that stuff? Mm -hmm. Thanks. This cream is our same stuff from Luke's Cream. Yeah. Well, there might be geo there might be geocaching on the other side of the Plus no. Yeah, stealing treats. Get the suntan lotion too, or just bug spray? No. Not really, I do. It's just a well, heat cream towel. Yeah, there's eczema. It's not my own. Less natural. Oh scent. my goodness, look at the underside of him. Gross! <laughs> You're supposed to be resting, baby. Okay, that's it. That's it. You gotta save some for the way back. Yeah, I hope you go around the trail over there. I don't know. Oh, wasn't there one just down here that went? Yeah, I don't know where it goes. Maybe it goes down to the water. Probably there's, there's probably some that go all the way around here. Nothing. But I don't need to do that. Huh? <laughs> I don't need to do that. A, you get to lean to it, that's good enough and then Good enough for what? Good enough for good enough for Say you've been here. Yeah. You got to lean to and that's where you were gonna camp, this is where you would camp, then you would do all your if you wanted to explore all that stuff, you could. I'm gonna have to get on you. There's a there's a website that, that talks about trail around that forums. Go on there and ask. Yeah, maybe the trail just goes around the lake and that's the plus three, but uh, according to that map it's that's about right. You can talk about drinking more now. Yeah. Okay. Oh there's a treat.
Yeah, he won't rest. I don't know. Maybe you rested. Huh? Maybe you sat down. I did. There it is. There's your classic Adirondack shelter. I'm going to try to get Dan to come up here. Can you come up here? Yeah. What happened, Owen? <laughs> what happened? You're a black lab now. Oh, look. You want to see my belly? You have to go picture my belly. Odin's half yellow, half black lab. Okay, it's 4.30 and we're, we rested a little bit and now we're going to head back to the car. Alright, we're continuing our hike out back to the car, going well. Everybody did a good job. Not too bad. My knee's aching a little bit, but I think that's the pending thunderstorm doing that. Nice little hike. Well, I thought Odin was tired, but it looked like maybe he was smelling the treats in my pocket and was staying right near my pocket. So I gave him the last of the treats. We'll see if he goes up ahead interesting thing I've noticed uh, on this little trip the trailhead marker says grass pond G-R-A-S-S-E the National Geographic map for this area says grass pond G-R-A-S-S -S, and the logbook in the lean-to had grassy, G-R-A-S-S-Y. So that's interesting. We, uh, 517, we just got to the turn off from the main trail to the grass pond trail. So we're fairly close to the car now. Uh, next big landmark, I think, will be the Osgood River Bridge. And we're at the bridge. I didn't take, uh, <laughs> probably two minutes. Odin is over there leaning in the water. Pretty deep here from what's in. Hey, good job, buddy. Did you get cleaned off? Yeah, good boy. Well, we just had a close encounter with a snake. Ma, I don't know, it must, I didn't see it because I was ahead and it must have been on the board, under the board or something, because when mom stepped on the board, the he came out and she screamed. Odin turned around and ran back for it, stepped right on the snake, and it kind of just hung out there. That's where I got the video of it and the pictures. And he's just still hanging out there. He seems all right. But I thought mom was going to go off the back of the bridge. That would not have been good. Mom scared this and then Odin stepped right on him. And then you see him. And we're back at the trail register. So we're almost to the car. Everybody's still alive. There's the yellow gate. The other side of the yellow gate is the car.
Okay, guys, we're looking at the track from this recent hike. Uh, we started down here on Mont Mountain Pond Road, and then this is where we ended up at the lean-to, and then we walked down to Grass Pond there. So I figured out, looking at the uh, track on here, that we did uh, do the 1.8 miles right to that to where the lean-to was, and if you look at this gray line here, that's um, the trail indicated on Garmin's Basecamp software. Um, so it does go quite a bit more there. So that was probably the full three miles. So I think when I come back to go camping here, I will uh, camp at the lean-to, hang the hammock somewhere around there. There's a lot of trees. Uh, and then explore the rest of that trail. Um, it was a real, fairly easy walk, um, and especially only being the one, 1 1.8 miles to the uh, to the lean-to. Um, if we go over here, we can look at my track data, and you can see it was 3.7 miles. That includes all the wandering around and whatnot. Um, average speed of a mile and a half took us two, 2.29 hours. Or two hours and twenty nine minutes, um, just under or just over a hundred foot difference in altitude, um, minus five percent grade change. So wasn't wasn't very much uh, going uphill or downhill or that kind of stuff. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is once again I took the Spot Gen three. And it did not perform the way I think it should. Here's the track from the Spot Gen 3. Set to, rec to record a data point every 10 minutes. That's the basic uh, plan with, with Spot. I didn't see the sense of paying a $150 or more or whatever it is they want for more advanced tracking. I think their, their, um, their model for subscription plans and services and what's not is just it's entirely too expensive um, especially for the performance I'm getting out of the thing uh, I don't know if the Delorme in reach is any better but at least you can send two-way messages with that um, but as you can see here it recorded fairly well on the trip out and it missed one data point between one and two but then it did okay right up about until the time we reached lean to right about there then I took it off my pack and set it down while we were there which was all of, all up until number seven uh, rehooked it back up same exact spot um, mom kept an eye on it to make sure it didn't flip around on me and it only recorded one track uh, all the way back here so I'm not sure what goes on with this thing it, it does have a feature where it shuts off um, when you're not moving, it detects that you're not moving and it shuts it down to save battery. Um, maybe it took it that long to figure out I was moving again, a half an hour. Uh, but then we had probably 20 minutes to a half an hour to where we were going back to the car and it never dropped a spot again. So, or never, never laid down a spot again. Um, so I don't know what's going on with it. I, I suppose it's good if you can, it's, it's good for the, the sending the messages that you're okay or that you're leaving in the morning. As long as you've got a clear view of the sky and you're right there looking at the unit, you can see that it successfully sent the thing. Uh, but when it's on the back of your pack, you don't know whether it's leaving down footprint tracks or not. Um, the, the sky couldn't have been any clearer. Uh, there was no tree cover over us for 90% for of the trip. Uh, there were tall trees, but there was clear sky in between because it's an old road. So um, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of disappointed in how the thing works. Uh, if anybody has one and has any suggestions for me or if they think I, I, something's wrong with my unit let me know um, I may have to get a hold of the spot uh, customer service and see if they can help me out um, but other than that um, I hope you enjoyed the, the video and please like share subscribe um, and we'll see you out on the trail